the end of October in Mexico marks the beginning of one of the biggest festivities in the country, Día de Muertos. Come with us to the state of Michoacán to experience one of the most incredible Day of the Dead celebrations. Our journey began on the road from Guadalajara to Morelia, Michoacán. On the way there, we saw trucks loaded with cempasuchil and flor de muerto flowers. We're in Morelia. Yay! We're gonna look for the hotel. Checking into our hostel. Yes, I said hotel, but it's a hostel. It's a hostel. That's all right, though, because that means it's gonna be extra cheap. It's like and it's right downtown. Very close. Morelia is a beautiful colonial city declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1991. As the capital of the state, there are tons of cultural events and things to do during this fascinating holiday. Friends, we just got here a little bit ago and there's so much to do. We've already seen a ton of altars. I can't wait to see what tomorrow has in store. One of the main activities for Day of the Dead in Mexico is setting up altares. In Morelia, every year students from different schools gather in the Centro Histórico to continue this beautiful tradition of decorating altares de muerto. Some of the students there told us more about the event. Estamos organizando y realizando una de las festividades más tradicionales aquí de México, que es el Día de Muertos. Estamos haciendo altares, okay. que es una tradición muy Muy importante aquí, a nosotros ah, nos tocó Janicio. Creo que, de hecho, nuestro altar es el principal, está dedicado a Melchor Ocampo. ¿Qué piensan ustedes? ¿En 100 años van a estar celebrando Día de los Muertos? Pues probablemente sí. Si nosotros ponemos nuestra parte, seguimos festejando, seguimos haciendo ese tipo de actividades en nuestras casas, claro que se conserva. Altares de muerto are also known as ofrendas, offerings. They are a fundamental element of the celebration where people place water, food, and candles to receive the souls of the dead as they return to visit. On the other side of the cathedral, students and teachers from a different school also gathered to participate in the celebration. nada más si nos platicas un poquito de lo que están haciendo los jóvenes aquí. Bueno, el día de hoy estamos montando el altar, que es una de las partes más importantes en la celebración de Día de Muertos. Es una ofrenda que se realiza a nuestros seres queridos que ya fallecieron. Cada parte del altar tiene un significado. Y bueno, es parte de la cultura que es, es sincrética, eh, hubo una mezcla entre la cultura prehispánica y la llegada de los españoles. De allí que, por ejemplo, el arco tiene que ver con una referencia y la cruz de la religión cristiana. Y es por donde regresan las almas, bueno, tienen que dirigirse al cielo a través de ese arco. Each ofrenda is unique. They are decorated with objects the deceased use in their day-to-day -day life, like music instruments, tools from their job, or toys and candy, in the case of the altars dedicated to children who have passed away. These altares must also have water, food, candles, and flowers. The vibe in Morelia's historic center is inviting and festive, but we wanted to see a more traditional way of celebrating Dia de Muertos. So we headed to Pátzcuaro, where we took a boat to get to the island of Janitzio to see one of the most spectacular Day of the Dead celebrations in the country. We are finally on our way to Pátzcuaro. It took us forever to get out of the uh, downtown Morelia area. 
the traffic there was so horrible. We can't wait. We just got to Pátzcuaro. Finalmente. Finalmente. We plan to stay the night. It's going to be a long night. Pátzcuaro's Pier is another important area during Dia de los Muertos. There's music playing all night, people dancing, and food for days. I can't resist chiles rellenos. <laughs> How is it? Chile rellenos are the best. <laughs> I, I would love to have my own channel where I just go around Mexico trying different ones because each one has its own history, its own story. They're just so good. This is the line to get to Hanitsu. Tenemos nuestros tickets. Ticket is... Boletos. <laughs> en español. <laughs> From here, people get on boats to visit some of the islands in Lake Pátzcuaro. Most people go to Hanitzio, where the celebration takes on a more traditional feel. The island of Hanitzio is the main island of Lake Pátzcuaro. Each year, thousands of people from all over the world make their way to this picturesque little island where the Purépecha, natives of this region, honor their deceased loved ones. Multiple alleyways lead up to the top of the island where you can see its most prominent feature, a giant monument dedicated to Jose Maria Morelos, one of the leaders of the Mexican War of Independence. The city of Morelia is named after him. The charming cemetery in Canizio, overlooking the lake, is the center of the celebration of Dia de Muertos in Michoacán, and perhaps in all of Mexico. Over 20,000 people arrive to the island over the course of Day of the Dead to witness this tradition. We have been walking all over the island. We went up to the monument. We have been going through all these little callejones. We ate some delicious things. And we just got to the cemetery, which is right behind me. Now we're gonna find a place to stay the night. It's getting really cold. I'm super cold. I'm, I'm even wearing gloves. People here in Canizio believe that when it starts getting cold, it's because the souls or the spirits of the people who passed away, who are buried here, are arriving from the afterlife. Friends, we came here because we had heard how beautiful it is during Day of the Dead here in the cemetery in Hanizio, and it truly is stunning. Being here is an incredible experience. It's a phenomenal experience to be around the Purepacha who are here to spend the night with their 
their loved ones who are, they believe are coming here to uh, visit them for a couple of days during Day of the Dead. Guys, it's 7 a.m. and it doesn't even look like this is the same place we got to last night. going from last night and it's like 8:15 ¿Qué estás comiendo? Pizza. A las 8 de la mañana. A las 8 de la mañana. ¿Por qué no? We finally made it back to the car after a long night in Hanitsio. We are really tired, but we're so happy that we got to spend the night at the cemetery there. It's a really special experience. I love how the whole cemetery is lit. We got to spend the night there, but I have to be honest, there was a moment when I thought it was just too much. There was thousands of people. I, I have On no this idea. Tiny yeah. island. I mean, you couldn't, you couldn't even move. And that was from 11 p.m. to 3 in the morning. People started to leave after that. So if you come here, just be considerate. We went back to Morelia to rest up and get ready to experience day two of the Day of the Dead in the nearby Pueblo Magico of Sinsunsan. The festivities in Morelia were still in full swing. We're going to Tsinsunsan. We are excited because we've never been there. We heard that the celebration is huge and we can't wait. Looking forward to it. Tsinsunsan is located on the northeast shore of Lake Pátzcuaro. This town was once the capital of the Tarascan state, which covered most of the state of Michoacán and some parts of Guanajuato and Jalisco, where the Purépecha tribes settled an impressive and powerful empire. So we just got to the cemetery here in Sinsun Sun, and it is gorgeous. It is. Compared to the one in Hanitzio, I mean, we haven't walked um, through the whole cemetery, but it looks maybe five times bigger than the one in Hanitzio. Plus, there are actual little paths that you can follow, and in Hanitzio, you kind of have to step on some of the tombs. To get through, yeah. Get there's through. there's a lot more room here. And you have no idea how beautiful some of the tombs are. And yeah, the ones in Hanitio are gorgeous too, but the ones here are just another level. So let's go check it out. Two of the main elements you're going to see here on altars and tombs are sempasuchil flowers and candles, which are symbolic of light. Now it is believed that these two elements help guide the spirits from the afterlife back to their loved ones during the celebration. As you can see, Dia de Muertos is a beautiful celebration of life and death. The special tradition of honoring the dead every year reminded us that we're never truly gone as long as we live on in the memories of others. 
Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more travel and Spanish tips. And hit the bell button so you don't miss anything. Now remember that in languages and in travel, el camino es el destino. The journey is the destination. Nos vemos pronto. Adios.